What's up guys, Sal here. So it's finally official, the world's most powerful handset is here. Samsung unveiled the Galaxy Note 9 today and boy oh boy they delivered. The Galaxy Note has always been a phone for people who want the best of the best and the Note 9 is the best of them all. That being said, let's take a look at the top features this beast of a phone is coming with. The new S Pen is the star turn of the Note 9 show, capable of performing Bluetooth connected magic tricks from up to 30 feet away. Samsung has managed to squeeze a small battery and a tiny Bluetooth low energy antenna into the stylus so that it can perform various remote functions. What can you do exactly? You'll be able to remotely launch the camera app with a long press of the clicky end of the S Pen. Flip the camera to selfie mode with a single short press and snap a group photo with two presses. It's much easier than setting the camera timer. The S Pen does need to be charged, but Samsung claims 40 seconds of charge will net you 30 minutes of standby battery. And for the regular S Pen features, you don't need a battery at all. It's no surprising that Samsung among the top manufacturers is the first to produce a 1TB ready smartphone, a capacity that rivals most laptops people buy today. The Note 9 is built as the phone that will never run out of physical storage space. Uninstalling games and deleting movies you've downloaded isn't something you'll need to be worried about here. Take all the photos you want at full resolution and all the 4K videos you want, no compromises needed. Also 8GB of RAM is likely to work best for Samsung's text desktop mode, second screen workflows and virtualization software. The Note 9 battery capacity has also been unshackled, breaking through the 4000 mAh ceiling. Samsung is finally comfortable enough to give us a larger battery following the Note 7 recall and it promises that its 8 point safety check will mean no repeat of the fires we saw 2 years ago. Battery life is being touted as all day and that's for Note power users which means moderate use should see you into day 2 without a problem. Samsung is carrying over its camera prowess to the Note 9. The S9 Plus gave us a good idea of what to expect, but Samsung is promising even higher photo quality from the Note 9. Samsung demonstrated that the Note 9 camera identifies and adapts to various subjects with a new scene optimizer feature. It adjusts the white balance and color based on 20 subjects as varied as sunsets, flowers, food, birds, text and so forth. The camera is supposed to understand what it's looking at and it uses the same technology to correct flaws including eye blinking, image blurring, lens smudges and backlight. Sometimes it will pick the best photo of the bunch and other times it will have a pop-up warning message telling you to clean your dirty camera lens. The Samsung Super AMOLED display doesn't need to change to look great. It's consistently the best smartphone screen in the world until the next Samsung phone launches every year. The 6.4 inch Note 9 screen did grow by a tenth of an inch over the 6.3 inch Note 8 display. It's a change few will notice without breaking out the measuring tape. It is slightly wider and slightly shorter than the Note 8. Fingerprint scanner has been moved to a much convenient place and the phone is IP68 water and dust resistance. And that resistance rating stays the same whether or not the S Pen is embedded. There's also both a water cooling system and super capacitor in this phone which is pretty cool. Thank you for keeping me alive. Like the S9, the Note 9 features an additional speaker at the top for stereo sound which has much better bass performance, less distortion at higher volumes and access to Dolby Atmos surround sound technology. Dolby Atmos places sound within a three-dimensional audio environment, giving listeners the impression that sound is coming from everywhere. Samsung devices will be the first with access to Fortnite on Android through Samsung's Game Center app. 
the exclusivity period will last for the next few days, according to Samsung. That sounds like less than 30 day window that was rumored which should be welcome news for fans of the game. Anyone pre-ordering the Note 9 will have the option of receiving 15,000 V-Bucks and the Fortnite Galaxy skin instead of noise cancelling AKG headphones or you can get both by paying $99. All in all, I would say the Note 9 looks like a solid refinement and evolution upon last year's Note 8. I think people who like the Note phones will be very happy with it. Anyway, let me know what you think about this down in the comments and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out. Shut up and take my money. Okay.